All right, today we're checking out ACDC. We're listening to the song Jailbreak. Let's get into it. I think when a band has like a lead singer that I'm like, whoa, that's an interesting character. And then they have a guitarist. And I'm like, whoa. Like the guitarist on ACDC is always like bopping his head so hard. Always. Always. Like he's so into it. He gives it 100% even to this day. And then the <laughs> drummer, it's like when there's a band where every single character I'm just like rooting for, then I feel like I end up liking that band a lot. You know what I mean? Like it ends up on, like Led Zeppelin's like that, where it's like every single character is so interesting, you know? And I feel like that's literally because I'm like, his Bon Scott's voice is so, like, what? Like, ah. I can't understand a word he's saying other than jailbreak. Right? Maybe me a word here or there. God, yeah, hey. His voice is crazy. It's a jail. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and it's fascinating. Fascinating. And then you got the guitarist, and then it's like, I don't know. They got the riffs and, like, so many moving pieces that are all, like, super good. It just makes you like, whoa, this band is awesome.
on a show. <laughs> I think ACDC is like two different bands. Like with Bon Scott and without Bon Scott. Oh, yeah. Two different bands. Because honestly, his like, that like <laughs> totally, totally makes it a whole vibe. You know what I mean? Shoot. Okay, so you have synesthesia, right? Like okay. Hear music That's related what they say. to food. That's what they say. I wonder what ACDC's guitarist has. To me, that's not normal. That but it looks like, like he literally. So good to it. It looks like he literally is feeling the music, right? whether he's playing the guitar or not. Like he feels the music and has to move. You know what I mean? I wonder if that's a right? thing that has a name. Right? And I bet it does. I bet it does I have bet a name. I bet it does. Like he's one with it. Yeah. Like it literally is an extension of him. Like if he hears good music, he's moving. Yeah. He yeah. doesn't run out of energy. How? Yeah, I remember that first Thunderstruck that we listened to, and he was like clicking his feet across the stage and stuff. And he was like moving in ways that I would just think you couldn't really do without like being in the zone, like with being, like without being you know, his alter ego performing or something. Yeah, pretty wild. Honestly, this was the first ACDC guitar solo that I was like, oh, snap. I was like, oh, snap. He's like playing, playing, you know? And before I'm like, I always like his enthusiasm. Like I feel like he really gets into it and it's like really good for the crowd and stuff. But this time it was like the solo was fire. Like I was paying attention to it. Yeah, now I want to hear a studio version. Right, definitely. That best gonna sound like a totally different song you hear in the studio. Right. Right, but the, then it's like the live, like you get the energy and you get the character and stuff. So it's like, you get the music on one, but you get the performance on the other. Right. And they really go hand in hand, so you really kind of have to listen to both. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Who's it go? She told me, boy, you the go. Like, I don't know.